We both know that you have been a coward since you were a child, and you still are. You even go to church every Sunday trying to play it safe with life, and so that God can protect you. We need Jalen. What would you do if you just got a nice parking spot, and before you get out of your car, someone places a gun right in front of your big nose through the window? Maybe you will cry, maybe you will pray, or scream. Either way, it will not work. The thief will smack you so hard that he won't even need to tell you to get out. Just like that, your brand new polo that you bought with your hard earned money will be gone. Vele we knew and I wanna fuck all. Tembo SAPS. So the first thing that you will do is try to call Centropol 1. If you were lucky enough to even have your phone in your possession. They won't answer the same time because they'll be all sleeping upon the station. And at that time, the thief will be spinning the shit out of your new car trying to get away. When a Vesga at with Tamelil. Now that you have an idea of what this video is about, let me tell you something. The VW Polo is the second most stolen car here in South Africa. The first being a Toyota Hilux. You didn't know all that when, eh? Now subscribe and let me tell you more. When I say the Toyota Hilux is the most stolen car, I don't mean this latest model here. These are the most stolen Hiluxes of all time. Obviously, common sense says older models should be the easiest and most stolen cars because they have less advanced security measures. But the criminals are not as dumb as you think they are. Some of them are even more educated than you. It's just that you were fortunate enough to get a job that made you buy that pole of yours. The third most stolen car is a Toyota Quantum, and the fourth is a Nissan NP200. The list goes on, but any car beyond this list is considered a low risk. That does not mean you are safe just because you drive a Velocity Golf or a Toyota Corolla bubble shape. I personally think older cars are much higher risk than the newer models of the ones I just mentioned. Let me help you tell you what to avoid to minimize your chances of getting hijacked. Highly modified cars attract a lot of attention including the criminals. Your flashy PBS rims and that smash and grab of yours are the exact mods that will sell you away. Do not unnecessarily travel to black townships like Umlazi, Kwamashu, Mbali and many more if you don't even live there. Try your best to not travel at night, especially after 8 p.m. Use highways and freeways more than you use small roads when possible. Do not leave your car in quiet parking lots. Park in busy parking spaces. Do not travel long distances alone. Remember that not all car jackers will spare you a chance at life. Some of these crooks have absolutely no sympathy. Do not resist if the criminal has you at gunpoint because you might get shot by mistake. Stop attending classic car shows and squad convoys with your own car. Rather get a lift or use taxis because that is where car thieves are found the most and if you are unlucky enough, you will get targeted. My best advice to you is that you should quit being a donkey because bad people are not taking any breaks. You need to man up, go to the shooting range, get yourself a legal firearm that will use for self-defense purposes, not bullying others. If a thief tries some funny business to dispossess you of your hard-earned valuables, put them down forever. We can't be tolerating such people in our communities because the cops are failing to help us and our government is failing to work with us. I do not condone violence and I do not encourage any citizen to take the law into their hands. Let us stand up against crime and put these thieves in their rightful place. If you choose to be a weak mama's boy, they will take advantage of you. Thank you for watching.